Hey, what's up guys? It's Benji Thousand Y Joe, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero with another episode of the Structure Deck Wars. Bear with me guys, I know you're probably tired of this, but uh, I'll try to put something in the middle between the next few. Uh, I don't make any promises on that, but I will try. Um, so in the last episode guys, Dino Masters Fury took it against Power Code Link. And by the way, if you have not checked out that video, you should check it out because that fight was way closer than anyone would have thought it would. It was a struggle. Legitimately. I didn't think Power Code Link was that strong. I think we should reevaluate whether we think Links are, st are bad or not <laughs> in the structure deck realm. Just a thought. Anyway, so today's matchup, we have the Machine Reactor versus the Kaiba structure deck, and it's going to be interesting. Will the deck that inspired the ABC deck be able to take on Ancient Gears with their busted boss monster that is basically the upgrade to the Galdatron Dragon or whatever. It's gonna be great. I'm excited to see who's gonna take this one. So uh, if you're new to the Structure Deck Wars, this is how we do things. We have this conversation at the front. I'm gonna throw some replay footage in the middle so you guys can see the matchup. And then at the end of it, uh, towards the end of the video, we'll cut back to the decks and we'll have a conversation and talk about the winner and losers. So, without further ado, guys, let's go see that replay footage.
All right, guys, there you have it. And that was the overall matchup. So let's talk about why the ABC deck lost as tradition here on this channel. And the reason why the Kyber Structure deck lost is because its best cards are going to basically come down to five cards in this entire Structure deck, which is these five guys right here. Pretty much the rest of the Structure deck, I mean, don't get me wrong, the Union Monsters kind of work well together and and all that but the truth is the rest of the like the dragon cards and the the stuff that doesn't support machines or unions completely bricks the deck and there's a lot of that like for example like if we just let's just say with just the union theme right let's put this just the union theme cards together and i'll show you and you'll see what i'm talking about let's put just the union cards Alrighty, so there you go. There's the Union theme, right? A little over 10% of the deck. Or whatever, you know what I mean? A, a fourth of the deck, I should say. You guys knew what I meant. <laughs> like 10 cards, essentially. It's, just, it's basically just these these 12 cards, specifically, that are, uh, you know what I mean? And then I guess if you're going to count this, because it's machines. But just but you, the point is, is that these cards... It's not enough to have a functioning structure deck, I think, where it would have its best, uh, a best chance of victory. So the thing is, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm very, I'm very popular today. Um, the point is, is all I'm saying is that basically, if, if one thing that I would advise Konami to do is if they were going to do this, they should have built a Kaiba structure deck and then just focused on the machine part of it alone because of the way the structure is for the first Yu-Gi-Oh series where now we have taking a single handful of monsters or one monster and make an entire archetype center around it which I think is really cool but this could just be Kaiba's machine deck or whatever is what I would have gone for that route but that's just you know that's hindsight now if we come over to the ancient gear deck you can see, I don't have to really focus anything on for you guys. You can see that basically more than almost half, more, half the deck is Ancient Gears or machine-related cards. So basically, this deck was just more put together than the ABC deck. Now, granted, if we were to go like a full three-structure decks, and yeah, I think the ABC deck could have a valid chance at beating this. However, that's just because the ABC deck is busted. <laughs> But that's not what happened. So the H of Gear deck is going to go to the top eight, and it's going to be fighting Dino Masters Fury for the top four. So how fun is that, guys? We're literally going to have <laughs> the two decks that came out at the same time fighting each other for the top spot. I am going to say this. I'm not exactly sure that dinosaurs can take this. And my reasoning, I think, makes a little bit of sense because I think this deck might have a speed advantage. The dinosaurs might have the muscle advantage because, let's face it, they have a one monsters that's out to most of this, and they have to have a two card out to take out their big monster. But we're going to find out. It's, it, will speed or power be what takes the fight in that matchup? I don't know. But you guys won't be seeing that matchup for a while. Now, the next matchup is going to be Wave of Light versus Machina Mayhem. That's actually one I'm really excited to show you guys because it's an interesting matchup that's all I'm gonna say there I don't want to spoil anything and I'm also gonna and remind you guys I'm gonna try to have something in between because I know you guys have like had four I think I want to say four videos on the structure deck wars as of this one so I'm gonna try to throw something a little different in the middle there just ever so often to, to ease it because I know you guys are like oh so bear with me anyway guys if you're enjoying the structure deck wars or just my content in general make sure you drop me one of these i'm bitch if that was wide i'm your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh superhero and i'll catch you in the next one peace